All right, guys. Well, so today's Monday, and um, anyway, so didn't get a whole lot done this weekend because uh, it snowed again. <laughs> Temperatures have been way down, and um, it's just been cold, too cold to really do any painting. So I've been just fiddling around with getting this motor ready for its first startup. Um, the plan is to have it running by May, um, which so far is looking really good. Not a whole lot more I need to do to it. Um, when it finally got a shorter fan belt, I had to get an inch, one that was an inch shorter because the other one was too long because I went to a smaller pulley. So anyway, got the new fan belt and then went with a 12 point socket here. I think it looks pretty cool. So. The alternator's ready to go. We just got to hook up a wire. Um, also, I got these brass 90s. Um, so that way it would look a little better since I'm going to be running a hose from here to here and then from there around back. So, also, got some gasket maker and uh, made the gasket to go around the base of this adapter plate. And I went and got one of those. Whoops, sorry about that. Went and got one of those thick gaskets uh, for here because I need to lift this up a little bit more because what I'm going to be doing is running my fuel pressure gauge off of this here. I know it seems a bit close, but it's quite a ways away from the header. That's plenty of room. So there will be enough airflow to keep things cool, but I'm going to run a, a rubber vacuum, a rubber fuel line up to here. It will just go straight up. It's going to go along here. And that's going to go to the cab, and then I'm going to run a fuel pressure gauge inside the cab. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. We're not going to be... Uh, I wanted to run metal line the entire way and then just put a grommet on the cab with metal line, but with the amount of movement, I thought that might not be a good idea because uh, it could cause some issues. So we're going to use rubber. We're going to use rubber line to the cab. What we're going to do is, using this here, drill a half-inch hole in there, in the cab, slide this in and bolt it in place. So if the firewall was right here, for instance, we'd be putting this probably right in somewhere in this general area. Then we'd be running a hose, rubber hose, from this along the line down into here. And then metal line from here to the um, gauge and somewhere in the dash. So anyway, I'll be figuring this out when I get the cab mounted, which will hopefully be sometime within the next few months. I'm going to start, when the weather starts getting halfway decent, um, start sanding on the cab and work on getting it in primer. So, then once the entire cab is epoxied in, I'm going to set it on the frame and do the hole drilling, whatever modifications I need to do to the cab, for instance for the transmission, for the uh, cable pedal, for the low car gas pedal. I'm going to do all the hole drilling I need to do before uh, I do any painting. So that way it just limits the scratching and all that stuff. So anyway, there you guys have it. We also got the starter. Um, just an OEM reman starter. These things, it's, this is the high torque version. Um, I don't know if that's just a a Napa advertisement, or if it actually is really a high torque starter. Um, never know. Won't, won't really know until I actually start it, but anyway, also got some nice stainless bolts for bolting it down. So that's in. Um, anyway, my distributor, which is cool, my Davis Unified Ignition, should be here um, this coming Friday. Today's Monday, and um, so a few more days. Also got an order coming in from Classic Parts, which should also be here probably Friday. So that's a cool thing too. Um, got to send a payment in for the credit card. So once that's paid off, we're going to start ordering. I got to get a gasket for the intake and exhaust side. Um, once I get that on, I can actually bolt these down and then bolt the carburetor down. I have the bolts I'm going to use. I'm not going to be using studs. I'm going to actually be using bolts because uh, these studs look longer than they are. They're just barely threaded in. 
So we're going to use bolts because they'll do the job just as well. And then i got to modify my air cleaner and then start running some lines. i got to run this PCB line, which is going to run back. Oh, there it is. You guys can just barely see it right there. So that'll be cool. It'll be kind of hidden. And then um, my vacuum advanced lines are right here. i got to figure out which is poured and which is uh, manifold. going to run it on ported. Um, not sure if I'm going to run that line behind the motor and to the distributor or come down and just try and run it like around this area here. I'm not exactly sure. So anyway, and um, yeah, then we're going to work on getting some upper and lower radiator hoses and we'll get the radiator mounted up and really soon be firing this thing off. I'll have to get some break-in oil, some trans oil, and... Um, Hopefully, in May, this thing will be running. So, pretty excited, guys. Um, been wanting to hear this thing run for a couple of years and just haven't gotten around, just waited it, more like more or less, because, you know, I didn't want to have to sit and run it all the time. So, but I figured I can't wait anymore. I have the entire fuel system plumbed. I've got, you know, just about everything I need for it to run so I figured why not you know it's been sitting on this frame for a year it sat you know for almost a year before that so it's time to get this thing running so plus it'll burn all the paint off <laughs> so if I have to do any repainting I can do it before it's too late so you know because I may end up taking these you know, manifolds off again and repainting. It just depends. The VHT paint's pretty picky. Um, I think I did it right this time. I put a pretty good amount on, too. So, so anyway, guys, well, that's it. Um, I did get the valve cover bolts. I just got to get a valve cover gasket as well. Um, more stuff to get. There's stuff on order. So, we'll see what happens. But, anyway... Well, little out of time, just figured I'd give you guys an update. It's kind of been long overdue. Um, like I said, it is snowing out here, so it doesn't look like it's going to be letting up anytime soon. The rain's not really getting any better either, so temperatures, I don't think we're going to be seeing any rise in temperature more till towards, excuse me, until closer to April, so we'll see. But anyway, um, oh yeah, also got a thermostat, got to have that. So these are the bolts here, and then these are the valve cover bolts, or Allen screws more or less. I think they kind of look cooler. So, and that valve cover was actually made to use Allen screws. So, well guys, that's it for now. Um, this Saturday, should be getting parts in this Friday. and So, hopefully this Saturday we'll have another update on the motor. Like I said, my distributor should be coming in, so I'm going to be taking those plug wires right there and uh, cutting them to size and then I'll get the distributor in. Uh, I'm not going to actually time it perfectly because I'm going to have to pull it back out so I can prime the motor when that time comes. So, alrighty guys, see ya.